A good day to you, so... Really? What are you gonna try to sell me? Sell? Oh, now you're trying to make me feel bad. No, unfortunately I have nothing left to sell. Other than some first-hand information that will surely be of use to you. Information? What information? Hey, you know what? Some kind of reward would be appreciated. It's just that with the war, we have so little left. Here, take this. What do you have? Apparently, the Red Scribes have found a way to win the war. They found someone capable of breathing fire, who's gonna burn up the Ice Lords just by looking at them. I don't believe it. You took my money for that? You fucking with me? I swear, it's true. Please, we're starving. I'll let it slide this time, but don't you ever try to rip me off again, unless you're tired of using your hands. I wanted to ask you. Have you ever met the steward? He came to see the refugees several times, but I never spoke to him. I got the impression he couldn't stand us. He's the boss and we're the little people, see? The life of a refugee can't be easy. I've been a refugee for years, five to be exact all these years on the road. And believe me, it's never easy. But this village is a pretty good place. The healing house gives us food most of the time, and we're safe. That's not bad. How are things going with the guards? Oh, we don't see them too much around here. They're basically here to guard the village. They don't give a shit about the refugees, so they keep their distance. And I hope for the steward's sake that he's not counting too much on them to keep him safe. I've seen lots of soldiers on the road, but as useless as them, never. Right. I... Vulcan. I do love it. Captain. I'm... Back again, sir. Do I look like a general? Uh, I don't know, General, sir. If I'm asking you that, it probably means that I'm not. Well, it could be a test to see if I'm being a good soldier, General, sir. Then you flunked the test. You are crap at recognizing rank. They never taught me that, General, sir. Plus, I don't see so good. General, sir. Is there a boss guard to help you with that? Yes, General, sir. He posted me here and said to deal with it, General, sir. This village is condemned, and without a doubt it is better us. All right, we're not going to waste all day on this, and stop calling me General, sir. My name is Vulcan. Uh, understood, General Vulcan, sir. <sighs> You're wasting your time. Every village always has its idiot. It looks like they've been collecting them here. Whatever. Forget about it, soldier. I would like you to give me some information about the village.
You stand in front of the swamps every day. You must know a lot about them, right? Oh, not that much, General, sir. I never set foot out there. It's way too dangerous. Boss Mason posted me at this here gate, and that is just fine with me. There's lots of monsters out there. I can hear them, and that's enough for me. And even when there's no noise, we hear the whispering and the... Well, that's even worse. The whispering? Yes, General, sir. Sounds like my own mama's voice sometimes. Except that she's been dead these past five years. Plus, I can't make out one word she's saying. And that don't make no sense. Mom and me always understood each other. Apparently, we've lost an interpreter of inestimable value. Hmm. I see. What do you think of the boss guard? General, sir, boss guard Mason, he is a good boss. He is, uh, competent and, uh... Be honest, soldier. The one thing I hate is a liar. Why, well, it's just I don't want any trouble, General, sir. You won't get any. I'm asking you this because I trust you, and nobody else will ever know. Well, okay, General, sir. Because the thing is, well, boss, guard, Mason, I guess I don't think he is a very good boss, General, sir. He insults us all the time and never shows us how to do nothing. He spends all his time drinking like a chamber pot instead of doing his patrols. Thanks for the information. It'll stay just between us. What do you think about the steward? The steward? Well, I don't know much about him, General, sir. But before the war, when he took care of the hunting lodge, he used to come and buy vegetables from my grandparents. But they didn't like him much. He always spoke to them like he thought they was scum. All these refugees, are they causing any trouble? Well, it's true, there is a lot of them. So that means a lot more work for us. Sometimes one of them will try to sneak in and steal some food. But we don't ever let them do that. Then again, we can't get too mad at them either. It's all because of the war. Those people are just like us, more or less, except that they lost everything. And sometimes they help us too. A couple have even joined the guard when the boss thought they were good enough. Plus there's Renko. Well, he fixed up my granddad's spade. He's a real nice guy, that one. I see. Let's change the subject. See you later, soldier. Distracted. See that? Obviously. I'll wait for you here. Frustrating. I feel completely useless here.
Greetings, mercenary. How are your analyses getting on? I still haven't finished. This sort of thing takes time, you know. Come back later. All that time to analyze that disgusting fungus. I can't believe it. I have some question. Did you know about Edwin? Are you asking if I helped Aeolas? No, not voluntarily at any rate. Our late Grand Master asked me to carry out a medical examination of the woman while she was still our guest. Of course, he wanted me to be discreet, so I couldn't really examine her. What did you learn? Apart from the fact that your friend looks like a woman, human and in perfect health, nothing. So everything's normal? Apparently, but as I said, I wasn't allowed to examine her. Everything looks normal, which isn't exactly the same thing. To get back to your initial question, the only part I played in the story was to give our Grand Master a powerful soporific. He must have used it to capture her, but believe me, I had absolutely no idea who the victim was going to be. Do you have any idea about what's happening to me? I'm afraid I may not be able to help you. Your condition is more due to magic than medicine. Your symptoms remind me of certain mental illnesses, where the subject has the impression he hears voices in his head. And do these nutcases throw fire and have eyes that burn from within, too? You'd be surprised at what they can do. But obviously, you're not like them. That being the case, if you study them, you might find some answers. In particular, I'm thinking of the fact that most of these poor madmen end up giving free reign to the darkest side of their personalities. Make sure that doesn't happen to you. I'll be going now. I'm still... Don't take too long. We're gonna need you here. Mr. Vulcan, what brings you here? Let's talk about work. These suspicious characters that you were telling me about, where can I find them? They could be anywhere. I'm afraid I must get back to these reports. The best thing would be for you to ask Mason, the Chief of the Watch. We'll talk again later.